first. A healthy apple cake recipe from Arden Hills Resort Club and Spa. cake. That's what we're talking about right now. It's a seasonal dessert, perfect actually for Thanksgiving coming up. And Chef Linda Galleon from Arden Hills Resort Club and Spa is joining us now with a look at that. Thanks for coming Thank in today. You. I'm going to scoot on this side so okay. you have more room to work. You were saying that this is a combination of your three favorite cakes, carrot, pumpkin, and what was the third one? Apple. Apple cake. Yeah. Okay, because it's a harvest apple yeah. cake. All right, so tell us how you make it. It smells okay. really good. I'm going to start off with the top. Mm -hmm. um, it is agave, and I have thinly sliced uh, peeled apples okay. on top, and then I have cinnamon. So that's the top. And what are your favorite kind of, apples to bake with? Um, these, this is uh, Granny Smith okay. is what I'm doing. So you can use just about any. And it's it, not that many. What's that, maybe tart. two apples there? Um, yeah, this is two, but I did three, and I chopped up the okay. extra and put it in the cake. Great idea. All so, right, so next step. Yeah, next step is our dry ingredients. The main thing is to have uh, the dry ingredients mixed well. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just putting in salt. It doesn't matter what order you put it in. Here's the baking soda and the spices, and just going to make sure it's all mixed in. Is that like in. an allspice, you know, um, with the nutmeg is, and the cinnamon? Yeah, it's actually a pumpkin pie spice. Okay. Yeah, it's quicker, that's all. It is quicker. <laughs> yeah, and I just put more cinnamon. Now, I'm using brown sugar today. Mm -hmm. um, basically, uh, I have a healthy sugar over there that's a wholesome. Is it this one? Yeah, the okay. wholesome zero sugar. And what is so. that? And that's actually just a, a zero calorie sugar. Low glycemic. Yeah. So it's for somebody who's watching their sugar intake there or can't, diabetics obviously couldn't eat this because you put brown sugar in it, but somebody who's just making sure they're right. watching their sugar. Right, but this, um, if you use this, um, somebody watching their sugar would be the one. Is it a true sugar or is it a sugar substitute? It's a sugar substitute. A substitute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we'll move on to our wet ingredients. I'll grab a bowl over here. <laughs> and basically it doesn't matter what order again. You just put the pumpkin I have. Do you use canned or fresh? Um, I'm just using can. Okay. No, honestly, it, I didn't notice. I've done both. Really? <laughs> and you I didn't notice much notice of a difference? Them. That's good. And I'm just putting in a. It's a lot easier, isn't it? Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to do the oil. And we've got to mix all this really well, too. So. <clears> can you use clay. a mixer, or does it change the consistency or texture of the cake if you Actually, don't? I do a mixer normally. You do? Okay. I just on, on air, I don't <laughs> do a mixer. Obviously. We appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to talk to you. Noise. <laughs> no, you don't want to hear that. No. And then um, I put in the raisins. And we have carrots, actually, in here. So we got some hidden uh -huh. vegetables. Lots of veggies. I always hide vegetables and stuff. Smart. And then we have the nuts. So I just mix this really well. And then what you're going to do is incorporate the, the dry, dry into the uh, That's a wet. lot. So, okay. and it's actually, it's a, it's a very thick cake when it's baking, but it, it looks it stinks because it's heavy. <laughs> okay, it does look dense. In fact, if we were to close up on the interior shot here, um, you could see how dense it is and yeah. how many layers of fruits and nuts and berries. And one thing you noticed, I noticed on the uh, recipe is that you actually uh, opt to soak the raisins before. Uh-huh. That's a great idea because they're no plumper. Yeah, uh, and, and, and probably a little bit sweeter. Uh-huh. Because when you it have dry raisins sugar. in yes. your cake, it kind of ruins it all to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And in my class, I go over alternative sugars and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, I noticed this one's made from sugar. I've, n I've never used this one, mm -hmm. uh, but it's zero calories. And I guess, is it like Splenda, but not like Well, Splenda? no, it's actually, um, it's supposed to be non-chemical. Non-chemical. Uh -huh. It's organic. Yes. Organic, organic. zero. Yes. Hence the name. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So once this is all mixed up, you dump it in there. Did you spray that with anything special? Yes, I have. To keep it healthful, but also help it flip over. Because yes. obviously this is it's your It's actually top just part. sprayed with the baking pan. To just regular so, baking pan. Yeah, work. baking pan. And it's a, t a 10 inch springform pan because this is a big cake. Uh, that is a lot of cake. cake. And, and then we were talking about the calories too. Because um, yeah. this is a, a big cake. I'm going to just taste it right here. And, oh, and, yeah. and if, this is a big sure. piece, right? Right. Wait, let me let people piece? know where the recipe is while you guys mm -hmm. are tasting. Yeah. Adrian gives it a th She's our <laughs> official taste tester around here. So. <laughs> Especially when it has cake involved. Yes. Okay, so if you would like to learn how to make this dessert and more this weekend's gourmet desserts class, keep in mind it starts at 11 on Saturday at the Arden Hills Resort Club and Spa. The class is 20 bucks. And for more information on the class and recipe of the cake, just go to kcra.com slash morning news. Thumbs up, baby. It's extremely moist. She's good. Make it.